I did a good job, but a little bit slowly <laughs> because it's like 5.30 am and I need to pack my bag and be ready to leave home. I'm not ready at all. I need to wash my hair and uh, pack everything because like that's a mess in the room. I still need to do a lot of things. Okay, whatever. Still, it's my room for one month. I'm almost late. Like, I didn't do anything what I wanted. I don't know why, and I hope that that's the last thing for today. This shitty thing, you know. Come down. Let's relax in a taxi. <laughs> At the airport everything I needed McDonald's and also I was almost late to pick up my visa I don't use taxi usually but this time I had to but everything good I have my dogs and I have some food Almost in a plane, almost. It sounds like today kind of first flight to Astana because they are celebrating something. I still can't believe that I'm going home. That's like <laughs> unbelievable, <sighs> amazing. Because after like two years, I don't know even how the city looks like, and I'm just so excited. <sighs> I'm gonna see my mom and my grandma. <laughs> Miss them so much. little presents for the first flight of Prague to Astana really cute here is little magnet and chocolate Welcome to Astana! Welcome to Kazakhstan! Now we need to take a bus to the center, to my hostel. And uh, at first we need to find a bus stop. We can take the bus number 10 or 12. That's easy. I still have 20 minutes before <laughs> buses won't go anymore here. Like 20 minutes, that's... I guess it's okay. Okay, let's check it out here and I hope we're gonna find it. Today we're gonna stay at 422. It's kinda high.
I decided to go for a walk and I guess it was the best decision to make because that's so beautiful now, look at this and also tomorrow I have just one day to walk around so it's better to get to know the city a little bit and we're gonna move forward because I have a train I guess at 10 p.m something like this and then we're gonna move to the other city that's so beautiful here I've been here up there like I don't know 15 years ago maybe 12 years ago I don't know but I'll add some pictures here I was so young little kiddo it's so nice to come back and see how the city changed and um, yeah I guess tomorrow it's gonna be better because most of the time I saw it in the daytime For one night I live somewhere in those three buildings somewhere there maybe or here but the view goes to this side so my home for today decided to eat with the view but now this first ah, today plans I got up at night at night <laughs> oh. at nine am and I need to go for a run I have like 30 or 35 minutes of easy run today I guess it's gonna be just perfect to run here in the park then we're gonna go to change some money because I need to pay for the hostel I didn't pay yet because I didn't have the 10 game And uh, yeah, we're gonna walk around because uh, that's just one day in Astana and then I have a train to the other city and then the other train back home, like to the other city again, but yeah, we have a lot of things to do today. We need to see the whole city and we're gonna walk a lot. I have here onion bread not the best one because just from 24 hours supermarket but still after microwaving that's good what a pity Hello. Let's go for a ride in Astana.
I have right here just a beautiful part and I'm ready in my sun protection <laughs> because that's kind of good weather, you know. I don't have anything like the back or something like this, so I need to put the key like this. But that's still useful, you know. Nice! I'm so excited to run with such a view. Like, look at this. That's so different because like mostly I'm running in a forest and today city. Amazing! That's such a beautiful feeling to run in a new city! The only problem of the run when you are crossing the roads here's like two roads and you need to wait in other case that's perfect! Shadow. Run done, and it was the best decision to run in the city because, like, in thirty five minutes, I saw the whole street from the Baiterek to the Hanshatir. Baiterek that's like uh, the viewpoint and Hanshatir that's like the shopping mall. I remember both places from my childhood and it's amazing that I can see them again. With all my bags. <laughs> now I need to carry it for the whole day and um, yeah I guess we're gonna go to the shopping mall because I can sit there and just chill. We're gonna check out <laughs> how to get to the train station. Yes. So I guess I have a lot of time just to walk around and see what I'll find randomly because I'm not ready to <laughs> go somewhere specific. Travel kits and bottles. remember this from my childhood here's free fall right in the middle of shopping mall and I did it like 12 years ago <laughs> that's nice really nice place for kebab like came to the opera theater 
of Astana to look closer because that looks beautiful. can see through this building the other side love this one sweet for me like way too sweet but I can feel mint and that's good I came to the closed bridge, but it's still so cool here. Like you can see the structure of the bridge, the roof. You can see through it. And when it's sunny, it makes so beautiful shadows. But now you can't see it anymore. Because it's not sunny, but you have a beautiful sunset here. I almost mixed up the train station because here is two, the new train station and the old one and luckily I asked locals about it so they told me about... oops sorry I need to go they told me about the second station so I checked it again and it was the wrong way I went the wrong way and that would be really bad because the station on the other side of the city so it's like I need to go through the whole city to get to the train but I guess I wouldn't make it a viewpoint from the station Let's go to the fourth track.
Петропавловск. Have never been here before, but I guess it's gonna be interesting to walk around and see something. I see this little beautiful tower, I'll show you. I asked locals about cafe where I can sit with Wi-Fi, so they told me about one place. But first we're gonna go to the park to see how it looks like, if there's something interesting. And then we're gonna go to this cafe and just eat something, enjoy free time, enjoy free bag without backpack. like big green park where you can bike or run or just walk and it's so calm here <sighs> nice they are following What's going on? They're thinking that I'll feed them or something like this. <laughs> They're just flying after me. <laughs> oh, wow. Here's this huge square, I guess for some celebrations and park right there. I came from there. We need to eat something. Sun came out and it's nicer to walk around. Also, I ate some local food in a little cafe where I guess mostly with some locals workers and now i'll go to the cafe i saw on my way because there's wi-fi and i can sit and just drink some coffee and wait for my train i didn't find any postcards i can send that's sad a little bit because yeah i can understand that the city is small and maybe that's difficult to sell them because there is like not that much tourists and uh, yeah you can buy just like happy birthday postcards and that's it went to the shopping mall and found this t-shirt osaka i really like this one because it also looks good with my clothes with everything what i have cool bag but this one doesn't look good on me the color maybe i don't know and I prefer the other one, but maybe I'll try the other sides. Mm -hmm. 